We'll guide you through how to make pants in Roblox. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. To go and do this, we can go and utilize an easy to use platform called Custom Use. So go to the link in the description or the pinned comment and click on it. And a big shout out to Custom Use for sponsoring this video. You can use Custom Use in your browser or you can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Then once you're here, all you need to do is click on get started for free. You'll be brought here and then what you need to do is go to the top right and you want to log in or sign up for an account. We can now go and get started. So what I like to do is go and filter for Roblox and at the top here we've got all these different templates. So as you can see, you can actually go and create entire outfits using custom use, which is super cool. Also, a really awesome feature they have is the AI generate tool. So if you go to the top right and click on it, you can select Roblox. And then what you can do is generate an entire Roblox skin and outfit with AI. So what you can do is type your prompt in here and you can then go and generate a design. But for now, I'll go and click on discover and we'll go and continue. In this case though, we wanna go and create Roblox pants. Now you may be noticing on some of these, these are for pro. If you wanna access these pro ones, you'll need to go and upgrade your account. So there is actually a subscription to custom use, which will unlock a load more features. As you can see, you can get access to more templates and there are many more benefits as well. So you can go and upgrade your account if you wish by pressing upgrade in the bottom left. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. For now though, I'm gonna go and get started with this free template here. So I'll go and click on it. And then we can see all these different pants. So let's say you like the look of this one here. You can then go and click on remix, just like so. It'll go and take a moment to load and the preview will then load. What I really like about custom use is that as you make edits, you can go and see how it actually looks on a robot's character. Because if you're just creating your pants in like a photo editing software, you can't actually go and see how it's going to look, which is why custom use is super cool. So now let's come over to the left. So you can go and look in accessories and scroll through here. You can also then go and click on media and you can have more different things. Let's say I wish to go and add one of these icons, then all I need to do is go and click on it like so. And as you can see, it will then go and appear here and you can then go and adjust where it's going to go and be. So in this case, I want it to be on the pants, so I want it there. And then what I can do is go and resize it by clicking and dragging just like so. And then what you can do is go and position it again. The next tool we've got is the AI media tool. So you can click here. And then what you can do is go and type in something which you want. This is what I want, a white diamond for trousers. So I'll click generate and it will then go and be generated. This is what it's come up with and this is what I was sort of thinking. And just like that, it's now gone and generated these which I could go and go and use. Next, we've got uploads. So click here and this is where you can go and upload your own image. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I'll click on choose on device and my file explorer will open. So what I did was upload my logo. So I'll then go and click on it like so, and it'll then go and be added. And then once again, I can go and resize it using this panel down here in the left. I'll make it a bit smaller. And then what I want to do is have it on the right trouser leg. So let me drag it down just like so. And there it is. If you're struggling to go and adjust it when it's quite small, you can just go and press on this zoom tool, which is super useful. Drag with your mouse held and you can then go and even adjust it more precisely, just like that. And then we can go down to colors as well. So you can go and change your colors. I like it how it is though. And then we can go down to text. And then what you can do is add these different texts here. As you can see, some of them will require the pro subscription, which you can go and get. And then finally, we've got the option for draw. So you could click there. And so once you're finished with this, then all you need to do is go to the top right and go and click on save. And now what we're going to go and do is go and save it and then we can go and download it. Now, because I'm a free user, I have to go and save and publish it. However, if you subscribe and you become a pro user, you can go and save it privately and then download it. So I'll click on save and publish, as I said, because I'm a free user for now. It will then say outfit is saved and published and I can then click on download pants just like so and they'll go and download. Also as a free user you're only allowed one download a day as well so if you want to go and download more different pants and even different shirts and everything like that you will need to go and become a pro subscriber. Now that we've gone and downloaded it though we can come back to Roblox and go and click on create. Now if you're taken to a slightly different page than me just make sure you type in create.roblox.com and it should be similar. Then on the left here go and click on creations and we then want to go and click on avatar items and we've got filters, click here and you want to click on classic pants and then press on upload again and your file explorer will open. Your pants would have downloaded your downloads folder so go and locate them here unless you move them then press open and there they are there. You can then name them so, and then to upload them you will need 10 Robux so click there 
and you need to confirm it will cost you that and press it again to confirm your decision and you have now gone and uploaded them. So now let's go back to Roblox. If I then go over to the left and go and click on avatar like so, and we'll then go and locate our pants. And as you can see in recent, we can go and see them. The model tools, I'll go and select them. I'll need to remove my other ones as well. And then as you can see, there they are. You can go and see the stuff we added, which was my logo and the other icon as well. And of course you can do so much with custom use, so it's definitely worth checking out.